Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, January 10th, 2023. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, presented by Annapolis Subaru and the SPCA of Anne Arundel County. This is the part where I say something that I think is witty or funny to get things rolling, but today, I got nothing. And you know what? Maybe most days I got nothing. That's for you to decide. Whatever. I guess we need to get into the news, so shall we? Following up on the story we broke yesterday morning, we had most of the details on that attempted carjacking. As it turns out, it was an attempted armed carjacking. Two suspects approached a man in a parking lot. This was at the intersection of Bay Ridge, Forest, and Hillsmere Drive. Pulled a handgun and demanded the vehicle. When the man resisted, a scuffle did ensue, but the suspects left just before the police had arrived. Just before 8 p.m. last night, the Anne Arundel County School sent a note to Annapolis Middle School families warning about a man in a white truck who approached two students while walking to school. The school says that they're working with the police department, but there is very scant information, like where the incident happened, if the two students were together at the time, or if it was two separate incidents, and the context of the interaction. Was somebody looking for directions, or was it something more nefarious? We don't really know, but the school did ask parents to talk to their children about it and to reiterate that they do need to be very cautious and to report any incidents that make them feel unsafe to the proper authorities. The Board of Education is looking for two people to serve on the Citizens Advisory Committee. Specifically, they are looking for members from the Crofton Cluster and the Southern Cluster. The deadline to apply is January 20th, and applications are available online at aacps.org. And as we begin to wrap up tonight at 5 p.m., Governor Hogan will formally say so long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, good night. Yes, he is going to be having a farewell address. You can catch it on mpt.org or the governor's Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter pages. Hogan did say that he looks forward to having one final opportunity to express to Marylanders how grateful he is for the privilege to have served as governor. Tune in if you can. Governor-elect Wes Moore will be sworn in on Monday, and the General Assembly will be back in town for 90 days starting tomorrow. Let's hope they have their act a bit more together than the U.S. House of Representatives did last week. And my apologies for my singing a few minutes ago. And Ramshead, they hooked me up again. And I said I would make it up to you, so listen up. You've got a lot of chances to win. If you want to see any of the following shows, contact me by DM or email and I might select you. Up for grabs today. Oliver Wood on Friday the 13th. Do give that bonus pod a listen because that's going to be a fantastic show. Wallace Bird on the 15th. Victoria Victoria with Charlie Hunter on the 17th. Or the Billy Price Band on the 20th. And yes, I will definitely be there for that one. Just get in touch with me and you might scoop up a pair of tickets to some great seats to some great shows at Ram's Head on stage. And you want to be sure to check out all of the shows that are coming up. You can do that at ramsheadonstage.com. Podcast news. I hope you caught Saturday's local business spotlight with Buck from Groom My Style Men's Salon over there in West Annapolis. And up this week for sure, and I can say for sure because I finally edited her yesterday, it's Judy from Francis Marketing Group. All right, that is a wrap. But first, a quick thank you to you for listening and sharing and letting your friends and colleagues all know about us and to our sponsors for the Daily News Brief. Annapolis Subaru, the SPCA of Anne Arundel County, Solar Energy Services, Alpha Engineering, and Scout and Molly's over at the Annapolis Town Center. So now you just need to hang tight because we have George Young from DCMDVA Weather standing by with your only locally forecast weather report. All that coming up in just a bit. Hi, I'm Betsy Abraham. My mom and I own and operate Scout Molly's, this amazing little boutique at the Annapolis Town Center, and we're here to help. Whether you are shopping for the beautiful ladies on your holiday list, or for yourself. We have something stunning for every occasion, from casual to black tie. From the parade of lights to New Year's Eve, we have the perfect outfit for every event this year. Scout Molly's Annapolis Town Center. Thank you for shopping local. 
When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, January 10th. Yesterday brought a pretty nice start to the work and school week for the Annapolis area, and conditions should stay fairly comfortable today through Thursday, ahead of a rainy Friday, and then a bit of a colder weekend. Look for mixed skies today and tomorrow, with highs in the mid-40s to lower 50s across Anne Arundel County, to be followed by increasing clouds and 50s on Thursday, ahead of 50s and rain Friday before skies clear again for the weekend with 40s for highs each day. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there today. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for regular updates each day, along with our website at dcmdvaweather.info. And definitely be sure to download our DC MDVA Weather app on all of your devices from either the Apple or Google App Stores so you can always stay weather-informed. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services. Have you been looking for ways to save money recently? Maybe you should consider solar energy for your home. Or are you waiting for the technology to get cheaper? If so, how long are you going to wait? Today's solar costs less than 20% of what it cost 10 years ago. But while solar prices have declined every year, so have the financial incentives. Bottom line, if you wait for cheaper solar, you're also waiting for lower incentives. Take my home, for example. My solar system was installed in 2010, and it's been paid off for almost five years, and I no longer have to buy any electricity for another 15 to 20 years. If I waited for cheaper solar, I'd still be paying an electric bill. At Solar Energy Services, we have thousands of satisfied customers who are sure glad they didn't wait. So what are you waiting for? Sunshine's a wasted. Call us today for a free solar design at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. Sunshine, sunshine. Nothing else can make me feel so fine. The benefits of a good night's sleep are well documented. Sleeping well prevents weight gain, improves concentration and creativity, and boosts the immune system. So, what keeps you up at night? If you run a business, then the security of your computer network may be one of those things. Threats like ransomware and phishing are becoming increasingly sophisticated and pose a real risk to any business. Don't let these cyber threats keep you up at night. At Alpha, they've been helping their customers sleep better for over 30 years by monitoring in real time and hardening network defenses. And for those irritating IT issues that arise every day, Alpha's just a phone call away helping your business run smoothly, and helping you sleep better knowing Alpha is on guard. Give Alpha a call to see if they can ease your worries and help you get the rest you deserve. Find them at alphagetsit.com. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, IamAnnapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at IamAnnapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.